Uh, hello, everybody, fellow Trekkies and Trekkers. Well, time for another animated series episode review, and today we're going to be looking at the Terratin incident. Here we go. On Saturday, day 5577.3, while observing a burnt out supernova, <clears throat> the Federation Starship Enterprise picks up a strange message transmitted in a 200 year old Earth code. Hmm. The signal is traced to a nearby planet. When the Enterprise enters orbit, it is hit by an energy beam of spheroid radiation that damages its dilithium crystals and makes the crew begin to shrink, along with all other organic material aboard the ship, including the crew's uniforms. Uh oh. Chief Medical Officer Dr. McCoy determines that the crew will continue to shrink beyond their ability to control the ship unless the cure is found. Captain Kirk beams down to the surface and finds that the transporter can revert crew members to their original size. He observes what happens to be a miniature city. Kirk returns to the ship, but the crew are now too small for him to see easily, and too small to operate the ship's controls. Meanwhile, the Terratins have beamed the bridge crew down to their city, where the crew learns the Terratins' fate. Terratin is a lost Earth colony, originally called Terra-10. Ah. Its inhabitants have mutated because of the supernova's radiation and are now, and are now all approximately one sixteenth of an inch in height. Gee, that's small. The beam which caused the crew to shrink was not intended as an attack, but was the only way the Terratins could had to draw attention to themselves. The crew beam back to the ship and returned to their normal size. Hooray! However, the Terratins have been small for generations and cannot be restored to normal size. Aww. Their planet is in peril from massive volcanic activity, so the whole Terratin city is beamed aboard the Enterprise and moved to another planet. Yay! So, yeah, overall this is a pretty interesting story and, well, let's say the bits with the tiny crew in the episode itself is actually pretty interesting. So, overall, I give the Terratin Incident 3 warp cores out of 5. Well, join me was bit as we find a way to escape from the time trap. So, until then, live long and prosper, everybody.